Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing and turn on your post notification. Today we'll be making these delicious meatballs and let's get started. For meatballs, you'll either choose to use breadcrumbs or even just bread. What you do, you trim the sides of your piece of bread and then cut it into pieces and then soak it in milk. The process is still the same. For this particular recipe, if you choose to use bread, then use about four slices. The purpose of adding milk to your bread is to give it that moisture and also make them fluffy. We don't want dense meatballs. A point to note as well, we are going for more of an apple sauce texture. Next, it's time to prep the beef. I'm using one kilo of ground beef. Then we are going to add all the ingredients to it. So I'm adding the breadcrumbs that I already soaked in milk. I have one large onion that I have minced. I will also be adding three cloves of garlic minced. One bunch of parsley, you can also use coriander, goes perfectly well with it. And one egg. Now let's get to the seasoning. I'm using one teaspoon of paprika. One teaspoon of cumin. A teaspoon of garam masala. Some salt to taste and that is according to your preference. And make sure that your hands are clean and let's mix all these ingredients together. Once that is done, it's time to mold our ground beef. You can use a spoon or even an ice cream scoop. You will notice that I have a bowl of water next to me and I dip my hands as I mold the ground beef. This gives it that smooth finish and also helps the ground beef not stick in your hands. Now, As you mold, make sure that your meatballs are not too small because this helps prevent them from drying out. As you can see, it is not sticking in my hands and that is because of the water as well. And I went ahead to place them in my baking sheet. You can brush your meatballs with some oil and bake them or even put them in your air fryer. I decided to saute them. And by the way, if you decide to just place the meatballs as they are in your meatball sauce, then that is still okay. I decided to saute them. And also I love it as a biting. You can also freeze them so you can decide to do other way. Here are the sautéed meatballs. They smell absolutely delicious and they were so, so good. You can freeze them. You can decide to have them as a biting and also proceed to make a meatball sauce like I am doing. Spread some minced onions until they are completely translucent. I then proceeded to add just a little bit of garlic and ginger. Remember the meatballs already have garlic, so I don't want to overpower the flavors. I proceeded to add in pureed tomatoes. And for my seasoning, I'm just adding salt, black pepper, and oregano. Next, go ahead to add in your meatballs. And also proceed to add more water depending on how much sauce you want. Let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And the meatballs are ready and the aroma from my kitchen goodness all those beautiful flavors coming through and i finished it off with some coriander you can serve this with some pasta rice mashed potatoes you will definitely enjoy this recipe please share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up i will see you on my next one bye bye